the 10th largest state in this land of ours, the state of Utah. Utah, a name derived from an Indian word meaning top of the mountain, is bounded on the north by Idaho and Wyoming, on the east by Wyoming and Colorado, on the south by Arizona, and on the west by Nevada. Thousands of years ago, most of what is now the state of Utah was covered by an enormous lake. Wave-cut terraces identify stages in the history of the lake. At one time, it was almost 350 miles long and 1,000 feet deep. As climatic conditions changed, the lake dried up, leaving only a few smaller bodies of water. The largest of these is the Great Salt Lake. There is so much salt in the water that it readily supports the human body. It's impossible to sink. The modern growth and development of Utah dates from the year 1847. In July of that year, Brigham Young led his band of Mormon pioneers to settle near the shores of the Great Salt Lake. The capital and largest city of the state of Utah is Salt Lake City. A modern metropolis of nearly one quarter of a million persons, it is the largest city between Denver and the Pacific Coast. Throughout the city are reminders of Utah's historic past. Prominent is this statue of Brigham Young, famous leader of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, more commonly known as the Mormon Church. The state capitol building is one of the finest of its kind ever constructed. Its dome is of Utah copper, and its walls of Utah granite and for which the state is famous. When Salt Lake City was founded by the Mormons, one of the first things they did was to select a site for their temple. The temple proper is a six-spired architectural masterpiece. The East Tower is topped by a golden figure representing Moroni, ancient Nephite historian of the Mormon faith. The temple, reserved for sacred ceremonies, may only be entered by members of the Mormon church. However, the famous tabernacle is open to visitors. Designed by Brigham Young, the tabernacle was originally constructed without nails, with only wooden pegs and cowhide thongs. World famous for its acoustic properties, the tabernacle roof contains more than one million feet of lumber and has no supporting pillars. On Temple Square is a monument to the memory of seagulls. In the early days of the settlement, when swarms of crickets threatened to destroy the entire food supply, Thousands of seagulls miraculously appeared to devour the pests and save the colony. Second city in size in the state of Utah is Ogden. Strategically situated, Ogden is an important jobbing and shipping center. Due to its strategic location, Ogden is one of the nation's greatest transfer points in the shipping of cattle. North of Ogden is Brigham City. Nearby is where the Golden Spike was driven, marking the completion of the first transcontinental railroad. Third city in size in the state of Utah is Provo. The commercial hub of a prosperous agricultural region, Provo has more recently become known as the Steel City of the West. Logan, Utah, situated in the fertile Cache Valley, is the fourth largest city in the state. Logan is the home of the State Agricultural College, noted for its contributions to the development of the West. Utah is rich in natural resources. Although only about 3% of the land is tilled, agriculture has long been one of the state's principal industries due to the success of pioneer irrigation projects. And speaking of irrigation, the honors for being the first Anglo-Saxons to use and develop irrigation are usually granted to the pioneer Mormon settlers. The soil of Utah is generally rich and the climate ideal for highly diversified cropping programs. Luscious fruits of almost every kind, as well as an equally long and varied list of vegetables are raised with marked success in one part of the state or another. Utah ranks high in yield per acre of grains, wheat, oats and hay. Abundant alfalfa and excellent pasturage are factors making dairying one of the state's more prominent industries. Utah claims a yearly total of more than $25 million in dairy products. Utah has many ranch projects where both breeding stock and cattle for market are produced on a large scale. Cattle raised in Utah are among the finest strains to be found anywhere in the world. 
Utah is the sixth ranking state in the production of sheep, lambs, and wool. A jam for shipping or shearing. In recent years, Utah's canning industry has developed to an important degree. More than one-fourth of the people employed in manufacturing in the state are employed in the food industries. Throughout the world, Utah fruits and vegetables have earned a reputation for highest quality. Another important item of manufacture is salt. Watch these harvesters work, racing along to scoop up the salt near the shores of the Great Salt Lake. The salt is then transferred to modern plants where it'll be refined and packaged before being shipped to the markets of the world. Within the past few years, the manufacture of steel has become one of Utah's important industries. The largest plant in the state is at Geneva. One of the largest works of its kind in the United States, this plant can produce not only pig iron and steel plates, but structural steel as well. This should be an important factor in the vast building program of Western America. But of all the varied industries in the state of Utah, the most important is mining. One of the nation's most prominent non-ferrous metal mining states, Utah produces some 210 different metals, including zinc, gold, lead, silver, and copper. The largest surface copper mine in North America is the Utah Copper Company's mine at Bingham. Here, giant shovels are actually removing an entire mountain. During normal operations, more material is dug every day than was moved during the digging of the Panama Canal in any one day of the most intensive operation. Utah is often referred to as the center of scenic America. Throughout the state are national and state parks and monuments. Also, many refuges have been established for the protection of migratory birds and other forms of wildlife. East of Cedar City, within the Dixie National Forest in the Pink Cliff Formations, is Cedar Breaks. Here, the Pink Cliffs have a thickness of 2,000 feet, and 47 different shades of color have been distinguished. Also in southern Utah is Zion National Park. Zion Canyon, the most spectacular gorge in Zion National Park, is 14 miles long. Cut through more than 3,000 feet of white and red sandstone, the creative processes are estimated to cover a period of more than 90 million years. But perhaps some of the most interesting exposures of the Pink Cliff Formations are included in Bryce Canyon National Park. These canyons are spectacular illustrations of erosion, amphitheaters filled with pinnacles and grotesque forms, extending down more than a thousand feet through pink and white limestone. Let's not forget winter sports, for Utah can justly lay claim to the longest season and best snow in all America. In the Wasatch Mountains, just outside of Salt Lake City, is Alta. Alta is recognized as the perfect winter sports area, having been so acclaimed by many world-famous skiers. Now that we've seen the beehive state of Utah, let's review what we've learned about the state during our short visit. We've learned that the modern growth and development of Utah dates from the year 1847, the year in which Brigham Young and his band of Mormons first settled near the shores of the Great Salt Lake. We've learned that the capital and largest city of the state is Salt Lake City. We've seen the Great Salt Lake and have learned that there is enough salt for human consumption there to supply the needs of the world for another thousand years. We've learned that some of the principal industries of the state are agriculture, dairying, the raising of cattle and sheep, the processing and canning of almost every variety of fruit and vegetable, and the making of steel. We've learned that Utah is one of the leading non-ferrous mining states in the country, and that the copper mine at Bingham is the largest open-face copper mine in the world. And finally, we've had a glimpse of Cedar Breaks, Zion and Bryce National Parks, scenic wonders wrought by the forces of erosion. Indeed, Utah is an important state. If you ever have the opportunity, visit Utah. 
Not only will you enjoy your visit, Utah will enjoy having you. For you'll find that Utah is one of the most inviting states in this land of ours.